Party chat. Peace reigns once more. Alright, that's the trouble in Halcyonia cleared up. Yep, I wasn't sure how things would turn out when we first heard the place had been occupied. But I'll say this for Lonsdale's men. They're well trained. They started clearing out the second they got the order. I have to say I admire the way soldiers just do what they're told. I certainly couldn't manage it. I know what you mean. I, I don't really admire that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's something you can really admire. So peace reigns in Halcyonia once more. King Vernon is a well-loved ruler. The kingdom will be back on its feet in no time, I'm sure. I, the locals, must be in the mood for a wee celebration, don't you think? The king's safe, the country being liberated. Yeah, must be lively in the tavern right now. Ah, stop it. You know how much I love a party, but I'd better not. Not just now, anyway. What? You're turning down the chance to go buck wild at a tavern? It's called delayed gratification. The longer you put that drink off, the tastier it becomes. So, no tavern for you until we put a stop to Adam? Like, none at all? Exactly, none, zero, zilch. Good for you. I wonder if there's a lot of side quests here now. None. I'm kind of grateful, honestly. Let's look at our new job. Also, if I even want to bother... How much... It would take a lot. Like, Convert MP and Subjob BP Saver are really decent, which is why I wanted to go with Pictomancer. But it would take a while. And we got a new job. What's its default guard? When defaulting, damage received is further reduced at a cost of MP. The MP cost is incurred even if the damage is nullified by immunity or absorbed. That's annoying. But, I mean, uh... Well, no. If we get to use that, um... I don't know, that's a little bit of a weird one. How much? HP 600. I think Monk has the highest, um... HP, right? 603. Oh yeah, they're actually equal on that. Probably have more defense with this though. Alright, Bulwark and Phalanx we read about already. Rampart. Erect a barrier that will protect multiple targets from a single physical attack, cannot be combined with Validation. Is that like a magical attack? And that's multiple targets, which seems pretty neat. Uh, single magical attack. Powerful light imbued physical attack on a target. Increases the user's physical and magical defense by 25% for three turns. Forms a physical attack that's increasingly effective on blinded targets. User turns will come around more slowly, but they will default automatically even when it is not their turn. From a critical attack may cause BP to increase by one. That's good for just like that would be really good for um probably Adele with I think the Ranger had critical chance up. For three turns, defaulting will increase BP by two instead of one. It's not bad. Shut up shop so that allies and enemies HP and P and BP cannot be changed until the user's next turn. However, usage costs for any abilities used in the meantime will still be deducted. Allies and enemies HP and P and BP cannot be changed until the user's next turn. So, will it be a delayed cost? Hmm. I, like, so I'm wondering if this will, like, mean that if I had enough for one god speed, if I did Sanctuary on Adele and did four god speeds, if it will work because I have the MP for one, and then the reduction will only happen after the fact. And limit up increases BP limit by one, allowing up to four BP to be accumulated. Yeah, that's something I remember from other games, but... It's overall not bad, and honestly, Ramper is probably the more interesting thing there. Because we could totally just set up a Ramper, still do defend the people, and... Yeah... I'm gonna stick with the Pictomancer for now in hopes that I can at least get to some of this stuff. But well, that does seem like a pretty useful job. And it really should just be called, like, Paladin. I'm sick of them not calling things Paladin. Alright, well, everything turned out pretty well. 
rest up and we will head to the desert. We... Hmm. I would just say definitely want to get that counter savvy for Adele next, because I think I know she's close to being done with her levels. And Ranger isn't even like a bad job for her to have immediately. I didn't mean to come out here. But anyways, I what I meant is that like I think this is probably just background. Well, I don't know, because it still looks like it would be mapped. There's a chest there too, it's not background. Is there a way we can get there? Can we, like, go through the dungeon? Was... There wasn't, like, an extra path. I wish we could get a bigger map of the area. Because there's, like... Is... A place to go through down there. Like, that... that there's, like, that path right down there. You can even kind of see it. Can I... Was that, like, somewhere I could always go, maybe? It's so weird. I'd imagine at some point there will be a side quest that'll get me there. I can't believe someone took Lawndale down. They really are incredible. I've got work to do. Catch up, sure. Whatever. It kind of looks like that would just be a path that we can go once we enter the other area. Maybe there's like a tree I could have cut down. I'm gonna go look at it, because uh, it's bothering me now. I really thought that would be something that we had to use the... to do this bit where we fought Lonsdale. Like, we had to sneak into town because they were occupied. So that kind of really threw me off. And then my thought afterwards was just like, oh, maybe it's just not actually even a real place. But there's a chest over there, so we could totally get there. I just don't know how we would. Honestly, it actually looks like we would get there. Yeah, probably from... It's wrecked. The bridge is wrecked. Maybe the bridge will just be unwrecked at some point. My other idea is that we can maybe just circle around that way from... Uh... Hollow, I, I keep forgetting exactly how you say the name of the place. I keep wanting to call it Hologram. Holodad? Holograd? The bad guy place? Where Adam is? And he's evil? But he'll tell us that he just wanted to help his kingdom because it's, I don't know, a kingdom on fire or something? Uh, we want to go to Savalon, that's what it was called. I wonder if there even is anything interesting underneath Halcyonia. Kinda doubt it. Actually, how many draw points does Adele need to level up? We have that large... Hmm. Maybe just kinda throw that in there real quick. Maybe just get that over with. I, I, I think that's fine. Because I really would like to get to... Oh, Encounter Savvy's not even too far away. I was worried it would be. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Alright, Ranger. Uh, you need to be equipped with the Quick Bow. I want you to have Hermes. It probably really isn't worth it for the 10 speed, but... You just don't have enough space for Artemis Spoke. Can I put on a... This sandals that I already have on? Feather Mantle. I very much want the fancy bow that I spent so much time getting. And it looks so pretty, too. Okay, um, can I... 
Pro no, you still have just that. Alright, that should be fine. I kind of wanted to just wait for daytime. But, you know, we might just... We'll know when we can do the... When we have to fight the boss. It'll say, like, oh, you can't... You gotta save because it's the point of no return. So this was just they were saying that Salvalon had to surrender, right? Anyhow. You came. Thank goodness. I'll let Prince Pollux know you're here. He'll tell you everything. Very well. Then we shall make our way to the palace. I can't wait to walk into Wizwald and just be like, why are there so many zombies around? How new is your inventory, my man? Now's a good time to get those Phoenix Downs that I desperately need it. I'll get a couple of ethers too. They're very helpful. And I honestly am swimming in money. Yeah, these are all the same. I think it's just new because we haven't checked your shop. Side quests? Glad there aren't any. Kind of didn't expect there to be when we're dealing with this crazy quest line thing. The dog's here. That guy wants to play cards. Let's do it. Now's the perfect chance. All right, yo, dude. Uh, what's uh, what's going on, my man? You have our thanks for coming all this way, Princess Gloria. It's my pleasure, Prince Pollux. Would you mind telling us what's been going on? Of course. As I ask Anihal to inform you, the Hologradas have demanded that our kingdom join their empire. I put the matter to the Council of Elders, but alas, they were divided. Things were further complicated when two of the Elders passed away in quick succession. Their deaths were deemed to be suicides, but both men happen to be of the faction opposed to joining the Empire. Assassination! Is suspicious. I'm sure you will agree. You think the Hologradders have been killed? I am afraid that I do. Hmm. We'll be happy to help in any way we can, of course. Thank you, Your Highness. Perhaps you could speak to some of the Council members. They might be more prepared to open up to one such as yourself. I don't want to, though. Party chat? Not all bad news. It's probably bad news. Hmm. Crikey, someone is looking a wee bit glum. Huh, I must confess the Savalon current plight does concern me rather. Well, Pollux isn't exactly a seasoned leader, and what with all these elders dying in suspicious circumstances, it's a bit of a worrying, eh? Yes. It's not all bad news, though. I hear they've started working on repairing the parts of the city that were damaged by all the water. Once it's all gone, they'll be able to finish the job. Oh! That is good to hear. I hope the repairs continue to go well. I and these aren't people to wallow in despair either. Business at the gaming hall is as booming as ever. Really, even at a time like this. I always say there's four essentials in life, food, clothing, shelter, and fun. And if they're having fun, it means the other three are covered. I suppose so. Good, let's get down there and do our bit then, to the gaming hall. Not until the matter at hand is resolved, Elvis. We have duties to perform. I, your highness, of course. That's me told. Why aren't the council hanging out up here? Also, I feel like if they're... for joining... They would uh, probably not want to talk to Gloria. But what do I know? You give it a minute. It was the thinking. Of those two elders. They were suicides, were they not? Or are you suggesting otherwise? It's just so weird that they the accidentally fell on knives. Are pretty suspicious. Suspicious, you say? You have been talking to Prince Pollux, I assume. He certainly does not seem to believe that those poor men killed themselves. Well, they were both opposed to joining the Empire, and they both happened to die. You can see why he might believe Holograd had something to do with it. Yes. And I must confess, I am inclined to agree with him. After all, Savalon is as far from Holograd as it is possible to get. 
An invasion would be a difficult and long-winded affair. I can understand why they would attempt to subdue the kingdom through such machinations instead. Of course, I have not a shred of evidence to support this theory, which puts me in a very awkward position. Though it is nothing compared to the situation in which Prince Pollux has found himself following the death of his brother. It is our duty as elders to support him. Speaking of which, I must attend a meeting. Perhaps we will have the chance to talk again later. I would assume that, like, our best option would be to... Like, attempt a setup... Of some kind. To, like, draw... Uh, uh, I would... The two maybe the girl is just assassin? They both killed themselves, did they not? Why do you ask? Prince Pollux didn't seem so sure it was suicide. Hmm. Well... I do not wish to speak ill of the dead, but... We all know what Bernard did, do we not? Subverting the affairs of the nation for his own ends. The elders in question could well have been involved in something similar. I have heard that Holograd takes a very dim view of such activities. Perhaps these men were so afraid of what might happen to them if Savalon joined the Empire, that they took matters into their own hands. Hmm. Could be, I guess. Thanks for your help. How do you feel about joining the Empire, by the way? Are you for it, or against it? Oh, I am all for it. The alternative is war. The people would suffer terribly. In any case, I am late for a council meeting. I must be on my way. Good day to you. I feel like, uh, like, yeah, alternative war is bad. But, you know, like, how easy is it to march an army all the way through the desert? I feel like having home field advantage is actually pretty good. Not to mention the dude mentioned that they're the farthest away from... I thought there was something on that drum. It was the curse. It was the curse. Now shut up, Leo. No one cares what you say. What do you mean? They conspired with Bernard to have their fellow elder, Lupus, tried for a crime he did not commit. They did? So, uh, what happened to Lupus after that? He killed himself, stabbed himself <laughs> in the chest with a dagger. Suicide. And now I guess you could stab yourself in the suicides. chest, but... Bernard is dead, and now his co-conspirators are dead. Do you not see? This is Lupus's revenge from beyond the grave. It is a curse, I tell you. The thought makes my blood run cold. It chills me We should have never to talked to Leo. Core. Leo doesn't know what he's talking about. We learn nothing from him. Might be an indication too, though, that, um... Assassin Lady moves like a ghost. She was a little ghost-like. Just a smidge bit. It wouldn't surprise me if we kind of go that way. What? The dead elders? I have no interest in them. Dwelling on the past will not help us adjust to our new reality. We will soon be part of the Empire. I guess you're in favor of joining, then. <laughs> Indeed I am. As with any transaction, it is a simple matter of weighing the costs against the benefits. The fact is that our kingdom is in chaos. If we were to make a stand against the Hologradas now, it would be the end of us. Besides... <sighs> but I must be on my way. A council meeting is starting soon. It is obviously kind of true me. that we, um, Savalon wouldn't be in a great position. Even if they have home field advantage just because of the flooding that they're dealing with. I don't know why I'm, like, getting into the weighing the options. The thing is gonna be we have to fight the person and then we will have Savalon help us out when we go and deal with Adam. My apologies for keeping you waiting. 
Lady Sickness asked for my assistance with an issue that has arisen. You have my undivided attention now, however. Tell me, what did you learn from your interviews with the Elders? It would be helpful if you the actually Elders, talked, sir. It was his place on the council that Were you really took, using this lupus thread? Some suspect that he was accused of a crime he did not commit, and that the ordeal led him to take his own life. And you think there might be some truth to this? One of the people we spoke to said that the two elders who died recently were cursed. That it was their punishment for framing Lupus. I shall have to discuss the matter with Dromed. He will know more, I am sure. And fortunately, the Council has just approved my proposal to consult with him on the matter of Holograd's request that we join the Empire. Come, we will visit him in his cell and see what he has to say. I can't believe we're going with the lupus thing. I guess Lord Leo was right. I, like, it's not going to be this, though. I don't... I, I'm wondering how this just leads us to finding out who's causing this. I'm also wondering what exactly the... idea is to just... do zombies in Wizwald. I can see the uh, hat guy just being kooky, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna do it. But, like, strategically, for Holograd, like, what that... The benefit is just to get rid of Wizwald entirely? Like, do they not think Wizwald would bow to them? Prince Pollux? Is something the matter? Well, no, but did Gasp. you enter the dungeon just moments ago? It was a g -g 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 ghost. I have just arrived. I'm I'm right oh, here. No. Come on, we need to hurry. Hmm? But why? D I'll explain later. Do you not realize right what's now, happening? It's in danger. I what? What in the drumhead? Hmm? Oh, Your Highness. There are two of you. What was that growl? Who's the imposter? So, the time has come, and earlier than expected. The time to kill you all. Okay, so, uh, they didn't really give us a warning for this one. Come, do your worst. Prepare to die. I'm just gonna do one Godspeed because I'm afraid of counters, but it didn't seem too bad. That's bad, eh? Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little upset because I would have switched Seth out. Guess it's my turn. I thought that would be like a blind effect, but I. Maybe it just didn't hit. This target's frustrative power, status ailments. We'll disarm. Great counter. Godspeed. It's time to get serious. She didn't do counter physical. At least not yet to me. That's going to be real beneficial if she doesn't have any counter-physical moves. I assume we're just actually doing the fight. She doesn't have a name attached to her, which kind of makes me think that maybe she'll, like, run off. But, like, I, I don't know. I think we can handle it. I think we can handle it. I think we can handle it. What frick was all that? Uh, I'm gonna just Phoenix down you again. And we'll get the Hira on you to max you out as much as we can, anyways. 
and just Kiraga you. Okay, so she did actually bail. I grow bored of this. Time to withdraw. But I do still think we could have handled it. And it's not like it's gonna be a bit before we fight her again. She just vanished. Crazy. Too bad I wasted Phoenix Downs. What was that? A, a ghost? Something to do with this curse? No, nothing of the sort. Whoever she was, she dropped her necklace. How embarrassing. It seems you arrived just in time. You have my thanks. But why come after me? I guess somebody wants you out of the way. It seems you know more of the circumstances than I. Would you care to explain? Forgive us, Dromed. The kingdom finds itself in dire need of your wisdom. I see. Much has been afoot. Indeed. And I would hear your thoughts. How should we proceed, old friend? Well, from what you have told me, there would seem to be little doubt that Holograd has been engaging in clandestine activity. Like stabbing the people that they don't like. Perhaps I am an obstacle to their scheme in some way. Hence their attempt to eliminate me. It must be something you know. Something vital to their plans. Indeed. But what? The bulk of my knowledge concerns the history and governance of Savalon. If we can deduce what it is they believe I know, we might be able to make some sense of all this. Only the Council knew that I was coming here to meet with Dromed, which means an Elder is responsible. But what could they have been so keen to keep you from telling me? Let's go and talk to them all again, eh? Great. The culprit's bound to let something slip eventually. We got Assassin's Necklace. I, like, I don't even know if I really want to switch Seth out, because I think we... Unless if she gets, like, really crazy with her moves. Granted, the attacks she did do were pretty devastating. What was the, like, go to sleep and shadow step? Who done it? It was the lady, obviously. I can't stop thinking about the suicides of these elders. There just isn't any way that it's a coincidence. Yeah, it's got to do with something to do with the ones who want to join the Empire and the one who don't, right? Yep, that's the plot so far. Which would suggest that a member of the Council was behind it all. Right, which is why I did a little research on all of them. So Cygnus and Delphinus are what you might call the pro-Empire faction. We've already met Cygnus. She seems to be a pretty serious sort of person. And Delphinus, well... He sounds like the opposite. Rumor has it that he likes to gamble a lot. Then there's Draco. He's kind of a fence sitter. Basically, he'll go along with whatever Prince Pollux decides. Finally, there's Leo. He's against joining the Empire, but but well, it sounds like all kinds of rumors have been flying around about him since the other elders died. So where to begin? Rumors that he's a wacko who believes in ghosts, like a silly man. So I mean the. I will just go full force on Godspeed when we start the actual fight. We're we talking to you right now? It's having us go up, but you're like right here with a giant explanation mark. I mean, the best thing, I guess, is still have Seth do defend the people. What do I have as his abilities? I think I kind of want to... I'm going to get rid of solar power for counter. Might not be a good idea, especially because he's a weak little baby right now, but... For forgive me, I am too busy to speak with you at the moment. Goodbye. Mm. What is it, Gloria? Oh, nothing, I'm sure. It was just her perfume. It had the rather unique aroma of musk. Musk? What's that? It is an extract from a certain type of deer, prized for its unique fragrance. Hard to come by in Savalon, I should imagine. I wouldn't think that there are very many people who wear it. Did she have it before? 
Because that might be some important information for you to tell me. Are we actually going to have to, like, deduce who we're going to The elders blame? did not commit suicide, you say? They were murdered by holographers. That's right. And they tried to murder drama too. Luckily, we got there first. The assassin dropped this necklace. Hmm. It is a valuable clue, no doubt, but I am afraid it means nothing to me. But wait. Dogs and other animals can use the sense left on personal items to trace their owners. Can they not? Perhaps something similar might... It smells like musk! Uh, dog. I guess we just have to talk to Anahel about that. I wonder if Bernie's in here. Bernie is in here. And I was right, Anna Hell. want to know who owns that necklace? Okay. We'll help you. Can you give it here? Yarg. He says it smells of deer. Like musk! Deer. How come? I don't know. Sorry. I mean, I feel like we already have what we have, but might be a red herring. Who was it? Was it Cygnus? Kinda wasn't paying attention to their names. I mean, I think it was Cygnus when we were there before. I think they're all standing in the same spots. You wish to know more? I really don't, Lupus? Leo. Very well. He was a good man, diligent and honest to a fault. That is why Bernard and his partners in crime were able to take advantage of him as they did. It was perhaps merciful that his wife had already passed away, but it meant that Your his only daughter who loved the smell of deer. Orphaned. A terrible business. The full details of the family and all that came to pass are sure to appear in the kingdom's official records. Drumhead will be able to tell you more, no doubt. It's kind of interesting to try to do this, like, sleuth out thing. And I only really want to talk to everyone because I do think that there would be a red herring in all of this. Is this, like, my quest now? I feel like my quest would be to just go talk. No, I guess it is just gather information. I'm doing it. I'm doing the quest as we speak. I'm assuming he's still in jail. We didn't just let him out because someone tried to kill him before, did we? It would be really helpful to know what jail cell he's in, though. Probably not any of the ones with the uh, chests. Let's see. Like a side quest guy, right? Or he's just not in any of them. You were a side quest guy. Ugh. That's annoying. They really just let him out. Why am I even here? Will you tell me that they let him out? So I at least would have, like, known. Should not be locked away down here. He's not, though. Where'd he go? He's not down here. Well, we'll figure that out later. We'll go talk to the other guy. Just... Let that dangerous criminal out. I mean, I know he's not dangerous. He was just kind of... Stuck in a rough situation with Crazy Prince Casper. What? The elders who supposedly killed themselves were assassinated by Hologradus. Who would have thought? That is quite a claim. And I have little to say in response. Please understand. I am in favor of joining the Empire. It is the best way to avoid a war. It will also create numerous trading opportunities for Savalon. It is not ideal. And to reach this conclusion was not easy. But life does not consist of easy decisions. 
You would do well to remember that. Oh, well, you definitely didn't help me at all. I don't know if you're supposed to be the red herring because you're like very blatantly for it. Uh, I guess, yeah, we're just heading back up. I think that was uh, all the people to talk to, wasn't it? Besides anyone who's in here. Yeah, I guess you just let him in here. That's fine. Is that the necklace you recovered from the floor of my cell? Would you mind if I examined it more closely? My word. This is Lupus's family crest. But why must my would-be assassin in possession of such an item? Can we, can we talk about the, like, family history? I think that was the more important thing there. Lupus's daughter, yes. I believe her name was Maya. I seem to recall that she left the kingdom after her father died. Okay, well... I'm sure that's helpful, but I don't know how right now. Listen. The best thing we have right now is the deer musk. 